Hey guys, today we are going to be talking about inequality statements. Now, inequality statements are pretty specific as to symbols that they use, and we're going to learn them with our little friend, the alligator. So you might have an idea. And of course, his little friends, the poor, poor, scared fishy. Oh no! And his other friend, oh no, the little goldfish. So let's say our little friend alligator came cruising up along, right along here. And then he was swimming up in the water and dun 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 And then he snuck back down here because he can do that. And then he spotted his prey. At this point in time, when he sees this guy and this guy, a decision has to be made. He's only going to eat one of them, either the goldfish or whatever this is, a smelt or something. I don't know fish. But his eyes get big, his mouth starts to water. Of course, he's in water, so I, whatever. But which would he eat? If you were an alligator, which one would you eat and why? Bingo! You would probably eat this guy. Now he's in his belly. And the reason you would eat him is because he was bigger, so he's more food. Okay, so an alligator's mouth will always open to and bite and chomp and scrunch what's greater. So you could set it up like this. The alligator might swim right past the goldfish over here, and just keep on coming to get this guy because he's greater. And so you can see his mouth here is open. Well, in math, we write that in specific ways. And we might say it something like this. Fish A, which will be this guy, is greater than fish B, which would be this guy. And so this symbol is what we call greater than because of the way we read it left to right. A is greater than B. So this fish is bigger than this one. So this would be a number that is greater than this one. So what could we say? Well, we could start simple, and we could say something like 5 is greater than 3. And that would be a true statement, because 5 is bigger, and the mouth would open that way. And then we could change that. And we can flip it around, right? We could say that, what if, what if the fish were on the other side? What if B was greater than A? What if we had the 3 here and the 5 here? What would we put in the middle? So what if the goldfish was here, the smaller fish, and the big fish was over here? What would he do? Well, chances are... Yeah, he would just completely flip around, right? And start chomping this guy. Nom, 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 Because he's always going to get what's greater. Okay, but we're going to read it a little differently when we do that. So let's leave him here. And let's plug in his mouth. Which way is his mouth facing? That's right. So we're going to write that in like so. So you notice it's flipped. This one's that way, this one's that way. So when A was greater than B, then we went this way. But now A is less than B. So A being this fish, we would have to change our description to say this. So this would be read A is less than B. So those are what we call inequality statements. But what if, just what if, we change it up? Boom! What if this guy showed up? Look at him! Look at him! He could probably eat those two, but he doesn't because he doesn't eat other fish. But this guy, he eats other fish. So he might come swimming along and be like, Oh, which one should I eat? Should I eat this guy or this guy? Or this guy. Well, what, do you, what would you do? You're an alligator. You could eat this guy, and you wouldn't have to eat again for like a week. So how would we set that up writing an inequality 
statement or what might it look like if we were to, let's say, put them in order from least to greatest or from greatest to least. So we might say something like A is less than B, which is less than C. So B would be the middle person that's greater than A, and C would be the biggest of the fish. So we might say, okay, we're going to move our, our friend this fish over here, right, just like this, uh, wherever I can put him, we'll just do like so. And then this guy here, and then this guy. So that would mean that this is A, this is B, and this is C. That's what this would say. But we could also write it another way, right? We could say that um, if we kept A as it is, uh, or we'd have to change up what A is, we might say something like C is greater than B, which is greater than A. In which case, so here, this guy would go first because he's bigger than this guy who's bigger than this guy. So now they're in order from greatest to least, and B is still in between. So this is another way we could write inequality statements. And of course, our friend, Mr. Alligator, is swimming in the water, and then he might show up and be like, I'm going to eat you, and then you, and then by the time I eat you, i got to get rid of that one, ew, and then this one too, ew, and then he comes out of the water and flies away. He says, goodbye, I love you. So in summary, inequality statements are things that we can write to explain how certain quantities are greater than or less than others. We use it in math, and the sentences can look like these. And we can always remember our friend the alligator because the symbol looks like an alligator mouth but always bites the bigger number. But we still read it left to right. So let's read these four statements starting with this one. And remember, they can be based on the small, medium, and big fish we have here. So ready, go. A is less than B, which is less than C. Okay, this one. C is greater than B, which is greater than A. So we could state that B is greater than A, but less than C, and that here B is less than C, but greater than A. And lastly, we have A, which is less than B, and B, which is greater than A. I hope this helps and was a little bit of fun. Whoa ha 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 ha